Welcome to Lesson 3.11's Math Moment. Today's students looked at division uh, word problems and used fractions to divide in some of their word problems as well. So the first example says a rectangle has the area of 16 feet. So anytime that we're working with shapes, I always ask the students to go ahead and draw a quick sketch of the shape and think about what the information ha that they have. Think about the information they have. One side of the rectangle is 5 feet, so I know that one side is 5. What is the other side? Well, I know that the formula for finding the area of a rectangle is length times width. In this problem, I have the area and I have the width, so I'm still missing the length. I know in order to find out what's missing in a problem when I already have the answer, I have to do the opposite operation. So instead of multiplying, I'm going to need to divide 16 by 5 to figure out what the length is. So 5 goes into 16, 5, 10, 15, 3 times to get me 15. I have 1 left over. That 1 becomes the numerator. Our remainders now in 5th grade we write as numerators and the um, divisor is the denominator part of the fraction. So my length is 3 and 1 fifth. All right, in example two, it says a snail is going for a hike. She will hike 1 36th of a mile, and she will break the hike into six equal sections. How long is each section of the hike? So the key words here is break into equal sections. The problem never comes out and says to divide. All right, lots of times, just like in addition and subtraction, we look for key words that tell us to do that. For addition, all together, put together, combine, subtraction, take apart, or what's the difference? Okay, these are key words for division. Break into equal sections. That tells me I'm taking what I have, putting it into sections. So, what do I have? I have 1 36th of a hike. And I need to break it into, divide by 6. Now, in um, the last lesson, we learned that we can do a method called keep, change, flip whenever we have um, a fraction in our division problem. So I'm going to keep 136 exactly the same. I'm going to change division to multiplication. And then I'm going to flip my 6. Now, to make a 6 look like a fraction but not change how much it's worth, I always can put a whole number over 1. But if I flipped that, it would be 1 6. So now that I have my, my um, keep change flip lined up, I just do top times top, 1 times 1 equals 1, and now I'll do 36 times 6. So I'm going to pull that right over here. 6 times 6 is 36 again. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21. And my answer becomes 1 over 216. If you have any other questions about dividing fractions and word problems, make sure to see your math teacher.